There is a widespread public perception in British Columbia that the problem of lice from fish farms infecting wild salmon is just a problem of the Broughton Archipelago. However, this is far from the truth. The Broughton happens to be where most of the research has taken place, but in fact, there are other areas in British Columbia that also have a high concentration of fish farms. One of these places is the waters off of Campbell River, otherwise known as the Discovery Islands. These waters are home to 37 fish farm leases. This is also where most of the millions of juvenile Fraser River salmon must pass on their migration north. The Fraser River is the largest salmon producing river in the world. Most, if not all, of the juvenile Fraser River salmon must pass through these narrow waters and in doing so, pass the many fish farms. Today, Ruby Berry from the Georgia Strait Alliance has organized a trip to visit a lice sampling project spearheaded by the Rain Coast Conservation Society, which is currently underway in the Discovery Islands. On board are members of the local Homelco First Nations Band, including Chief Darren Blaney. We are visiting with one of the researchers, Jody Erickson, who has also grown up in this area. It's, there's one farm there, yeah. Brent Island, Venture Point. There's another one here, I'm not sure what it's called. And then there's one in Burns Bay. So they have to go by all those farms, the sockeye coming from the Fraser River. And then there's more as you keep going up. That's just the first ones they come to. There is a lot of fish going through here. There's been the last three weeks nothing but pretty much sockeye going through the, the middle parts of the channel. There's still a lot of pinks going along the edge, but there's a lot of sockeye, as many as I've ever seen. See some jumping all over there? There's a few here, yeah. They get to feed all the way to the top end of the island, and they take, definitely take their time. They take probably a good month to get from the Fraser to the top end, maybe more, feeding on all the baby herring. If you look at what they're eating right now, it's baby herring, which there's tons of in here. We find a lot of lice on herring. Well, if you got a million fish in a farm, and each, I think the guys around here said they treat when they have three or four lice per adult fish, and if each one of those lice is producing a few hundred babies every two weeks, that's a lot of baby lice. <laughs> and we got sockeye. Probably a couple hundred sockeye in this set. But they're almost all covered in lakes here. Look at that sky. These are terrible. And these paints are covered too. He's terrible. Look at him in the bucket. He's just hanging with lace. See him all hanging off the side? Look at that little guy. He's got at least 20, maybe 30. Oh, I on. see what you mean. Yeah, that one's just, just loaded. covered. It's almost like scales on the side yeah. of it. Yeah. From what I can see here, the sockeye have just as many lice on them as these equivalent pinks in the same set. Oh, it's got a hole in it. But you can see what I'm talking about by the number of lice. If that's not a problem, I don't know what is. Look at that. Oh my god. Let me turn it to see. See him there, see? That's a lot of lice on that little one. That's just... The end of that fish, it's kind of sad. You're kind of watching a fish die. It's, it's so sad. Chris Bond is a fisheries guardian, and he started telling me that the sockeye from the Fraser would hold out in this area around the Discovery Islands where all these fish farms are. It started to occur to me that the uh, Stalo would get blamed all the time for the missing sockeye. And um, when I first heard four years ago, there was 30 lice on some of these fry that, uh, you know, as... Uh, the sockeye start disappearing, more people don't get their food fish each year. I don't know if we'll get any this year and some of the people up the Fraser don't get any. So it's, um, it's getting to be a big problem for Aboriginal rights and title. And all this fish passes by that farm there, the one on that side, another one down the channel, the one in Barnes Bay and Cyrus Rocks. Five farms before it gets here, that's why it's so covered in, and it just keeps going as you go up north. And that's where all the sockeye goes. Right now, Okasol is just full. Like if you went from um, the rapids down towards Surge, I went down the other day, glassy looking calm with mess, and it was just solid jumpers the whole way. And it's all sockeye out off the beach there. Yeah, it's a pretty bad problem. Like, pretty bad.